Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to design this paper cut text effect. I'll first add the background, then I will add text and font. I'll then cut out this darker outline. Finally, I'll punch the text from the background to get the paper cut effect. I have added chapters if you need to jump around or rewatch certain parts of the video. All right, let's begin. All right, let's begin. This time around, I'm going to add the background the first. It's 920 by 1080 pixel. Let's press OK and using the align tool let's center align it that's the first thing let me just move these colors a little bit above the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add the text and i'm going to write the word style i'll increase its size kind of center align it and then let's just choose the font or typeface as many people call it so i wanted to choose a sturdy kind of a thick font but with you know a sense of style that's the reason i chose the word style and after searching a bit the font that i finally chose to apply is this one down here gaudi stop let's kind of bring it in the center as you can see there is a lot of spacing between the alphabets or the letters so i'll go in the properties and from here decrease the distance to a bit of my liking and now let's just reduce its size and bring it within the range of the artboard and now for once on the right hand side i'll come down here in the layers and open up the layers panel and check that the text is right on the top and the rectangle on the artboard is right below these colors that you see below behind the rectangle or below the rectangle are the swatches that i have pre-chosen on the left hand side top so i just wanted to make sure how things are layered because that is going to be important so what i'm gonna do is with this text selected let's go up here in the objects and come down here and press expand make sure the both are ticked and press ok now what it has done is it has changed this text into an object it is no more a typography text it is an object so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold alt and drag a copy out of it since we'll need this and now i'll work with the text that is below here i'm again gonna go in the object and in the path i'm going to choose the offset path and i'm going to choose 25 pixels value and round corners and press ok next i'm going to select this text and come here right hand side on the pathfinder and if you cannot find the pathfinder here you can go up here in the windows and come down here and click pathfinder here so like i said i'm gonna select the text not the rectangle below i'll uncheck it by holding shift and click out and now with the text selected i'm going to press this unite with this the outline and the text inside have united to become a single object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to color the text now i'll choose the eyedropper tool click on it and this will give this nice light pink color and i'm going to choose the text below here again the eyedropper and this dark color will be applied now i'm going to center align both of these for that i'll select the both go up here in the align tools and then align the objects by choosing the dark text as the main align to object with this i'll align them both vertically and horizontally and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select everything and using the divide option in the pathfinder i'm going to divide all of these things from one another they will cut out separately you'll see i'll go here in the pathfinder and press this divide once done i'm going to right click here and press ungroup and when i'll drag out the letters as you can see now they all have been punched so this is the most important step in creating this text effect now let's select everything once again and go up here in the effects and in the stylize and let's apply a drop shadow i'll keep the default options as it is and press ok right now everything as you might see looks reversed the inner more text is right on top the outline below and the background just the lowest what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here and right click and arrange and then send to back as you can see it now has turned inwards so i'm going to do the same by using the shortcut which is Control shift left bracket so what is really happening is that when this text of light pink color is sent right to the bottom the shadow of the outline falls on it which gives us this feeling that everything is layered and is in the reverse order which it actually is now i'll select the background and push it to the top by pressing Control shift right bracket to further clarify my point i'll hold this background and drag it out away as you may see now the text right below is also having a shadow but since it is placed right at the bottom its shadow is not visible to us which helps us to get the trick done 
So the background is now on the top, below it is the fine outline and on the lowest is the text which gives it this pressed paper cut text as if one paper is placed on top of the other. And this is how we do this trick. So this is what this text effect is all about. And if you like this video, I would now suggest to you to watch this playlist and binge watch all the text effects that I've created so far and maybe the ones that I'll be adding in the future if you check out the videos in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I'll be back soon.